what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, partner, after the conference championship games, there was a lot of talk about the overtime rules, understandably so. Do you think that anything needs to be changed in the NFL overtime situation? I, I don't think so. And you gotta remember, you gotta remember I'm, an old, I'm an old crone, all right? So here's the deal on it. The NFL jumped into popularity with an overtime game, the Baltimore Colts being the New York Giants. Back in, what was it, 1959, 58, 59? That's when the NFL really came into prominence, and it was sudden death. Colin Amici, the Colts got the ball, they scored. No one talked about anything, but boy, what an exciting game. As time went on, people started talking about fairness. So the overtime rule finally got changed. If you score first with a touchdown, the game's over. Otherwise, you keep playing. I think that's pretty cool. And in our two championship games this year, we had overtime in both. Tom Brady and the Patriots won the toss, went downfield, scored a touchdown, ball game. Drew Brees and the Saints won the, won the coin toss through an interception. The Rams kicked the field goal and won. Defense still exists if you care to play it. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Clock running, and the Falcons moving with a sense of urgency. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here. shy of the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. To throw again is Ryan. Looking deep for who? And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Falcons! Julio Jones in the final seconds of the first half. And the Falcons are an extra point away from moving out in front. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? 
And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. Final play of the half here, Mariota. That's complete to Taewon Taylor. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I.